Vologda is one of the most ancient Russian cities. It is as old as Moscow. It is the storehouse of the Russian traditions, the motherland of astonishing crafts and works, which has been saving its cultural importance for more than nine centuries. The town image is adorned by churches, unique old artifacts, and the Kremlin and St. Sophia Cathedral remind of the greatness history of the city. For careful retaining of the folk traditions, Volgda is called today the cultural capital of the Russian North. It is known around the world for its butter and lace. The process of making it, Volgda people keep in secret and heading down from generation to generation. The main historic symbol of contemporary Volgda has become the monument to the founder of the city, Monk Gerasim. In 1147, he came from Kyiv to the river Vologda. Later, the city was spread out here. Nobody knows the exact origin of the word Vologda, but there is a hypothesis that in the language on Finno-Ugrian population it means the pure water. Today the Vologda river is the main source of potable water in the regional center. And the health of Vologda citizens depends on its quality conditions. But it is hardly possible to call the water in the river pure. Every year thousands of waste are dumped into the water. For more than 20 years the specialists have been measuring as it's dirty or extremely dirty. One more important aspect is the negative influence of the Vologda river on other rivers of the northern Dvina basin. Their waters bring harmful containments in the White, Barents and the Baltic seas, poisoning ecosystem of the Arctic Ocean. Such a great harvest has never been seen here. The lucky fishing near the discharge truth is irresistible proof that the facilities of the Fund Northern Dimension Environmental Partnership spent on the reconstruction of the dumping plants are worth doing. Recently, a Casp Aspen has been caught here. This fish is the best natural barometer because it is sensitive to the quality and level of the water in the river, and it immediately disappears in case of unfavorable climate. In the end of 2007, with the assistance of the government of the Vologda Oblast, municipal enterprise Vologda Gurvoda Canal made an agreement and in July 2008 received the grant from the Fund Northern Dimension Environmental Partnership in amount of 3.5 million euro on the reconstruction waste treatment facilities. In 2011, the Fund Northern Dimension Environmental Partnership increased the budget on 1,700,000 euro. After the completing the works on the project, the specialist made the startler. The wastewater is purer than water from the river. So, this water goes into the river. The water in the river is dirtier. The quality of the water at the exit is better than in the river. The breakthrough made the group of companies Ecopolymer M, which engineers worked on the same projects not only in Russia, but also in the 17th country around the world. The project is really extraordinary and it's unusual mostly for Russian laws. It was organized on a Tonkin basis, as it's common for European companies. An engineering consultant company held the tender and defined the company, which was ready to take responsibility to take the full complex of works – engineering, building, pre-commission activities, putting into operation and guarantee of quality sewage treatment. Within four and a half year period, a great work has been done on the wall of the waste treatment facilities. The specialists dismantled the old waste treatment facilities worked out and agreed upon the project documentation of the new one. They restored underground utility services, built additional engineering nets and settles, helped the reconstruction current air tanks and entirely replaced the equipment on the blowing house, renewed bacteriological clearing. Ecosystem of the river immediately rose to the fly of the treatment transfusion.
Today the enterprise Volga Gurvada Canal is working out on one more project. It is connected with ecology of water resources. It's consuming, stretching out and improving the drinking quality. On the local budget money and European banks' loans, the block of ultraviolet clearing has been built and chemical feed plants have been upgraded. New amateur has been set. The pumps have been settled. Loss detection system has been automated. The strict account has given its results. All the citizens have forgotten about water shortage. Besides, water feed has been reduced on one third, from 140 to 100,000 cubes per 24 hours. Making this project true, the enterprise Volga Gurvada Canal has recommended itself as a reliable nature conservation partner, which is able to reveal the problem, to construct the ways of its solving and report on the achieved result. Today, Volga's sewage treatment system has been found in one of the best in the Northwest. But works on preservation ecology hasn't been completed yet. On waste treatment plants, it is important to embody the projects to refuse from active chlorine and transition to hypochlorite, clearing and utilization scourge. It is necessary to improve bacteriological indexes in sewage treatment plants and immediately proceed to the building of the block's sludge composting fields. The project is ready. This block, скажем так, у нас не доделан. This block hasn't been completed yet. Furthermore, the equipment has gone out of date, and we are afraid that the settled sludge will get into the river. All the projects on recovery of the nature resources of the cultural center of the Russian North are done with the control and support of the administration of Vologda. In condition of saving budget money, the local authorities tried to find additional ways of cooperation with the investors. In the sphere of water-consuming, energy and heat, utilization household rubbish and hazardous waste, becoming on the territory of Russia a palm breaker in implementation projects on taking care about nature. First of all, we improved the ecological situation. Secondly, we were taught to work in a different way, because the fund has its own standards. We will try to work on the same system too, it's a great work, and it was highly appreciated by our partners and neighbors. And in spite of Vologda being far away from seas, but our results are as high as in other big cities. The other will hurry after us. In 2011, the specialists from the Ministry of Natural Resources measured the ecology of the cities and made the rating. Volga was considered to be the city with the clearest air atmosphere. Together with this rating, one more environmental project on upgrading the heat supply system started in the provincial capital of the Russian North. On the money of the fund Northern Dimension Environmental Partnership and European banks, it's about 3 million euro, the specialists of enterprise Vologda Teplosiet arranged 195 modern individual heat supply stations. They allowed us to save heat energy and to get a service of heating and hot water supply of a very high quality. It permitted to unit the heating system to join coal and shadows and close the fuse fire plants on Nikrasova and Maikovskova streets. Due to the ground, the citizens of houses sufficiently saved money. All the equipment to the underground floor was delivered free of charge. The hots pay only for installation. And in the very first warm winter, the citizens understood the usage from packaged units. The smart system several times a day takes the temperature of the outside air and doesn't allow the house to take more warmth than it's needed. Consequently, there was more comfortable climate in the flats, and receipts became lower. Having reconstructed individual supply stations, we could go away from autumn and spring overheating, stabilize the boiler station, and in some regions we could go away from four-pipe system. The heat providers got the opportunity not only to save money, but also to develop. On the loans from European banks, they managed to run the project on the upgrading boiler stations. Now three of them are ready. 
they are written in the history of the city to be the first examples of Vologda station of the 21st century. Automated, packaged with a high efficiency and contemporary chemical clearing of the water. But the main reason, which brings together the high expenses, is the effect to protect the ecology. So we plug in, then measure, then switch on gas sensor, and now we are going to watch online the exhaust emissions. The ecologists give the diagnosis in several seconds. The results make everybody glad. The new heat boiler works beyond reproach. Nothing threatens the health of the atmosphere. Thermal pollution is 3.4%. On the old boiler station it was up to 11%. So we can see three times reduced. The exit gas is on 50 degrees lower. Carbon oxide was about 100 units, now it varies from 0 to 1. The same situation is with other measures, oxides of nitrogen, nitrogen peroxide. Today, colleges completely support works on the reconstruction of the boiler stations, because the statistics say yes to new technologies. After the finishing works only at three boiler stations, the total percent of exhaust from the heat tubes reduce on 12 positions. This is the excellent result. Due to reconstruction, the efficiency output is 91 to 93. Earlier it was 80 to 85 maximum. It means that the gas consumer on this boiler station has been reduced from 15 to 12 percent. The new opportunities of new heat giants permit to close lower-powered objects, to rearrange power demands and lower the costs. And on save money, it is possible to upgrade, to hook up new building estates, restrain the charges and take care about ecology. Coordinates of Vologda are known now. Its star has risen in the northern dimension system. The Vologda people have learned to think not only up-to-date problems, but also to see the perspective. The touristic attractiveness of their native city gives the tone to careful treat to the wealth of the mother world. But it is still much to do in the sphere of water consuming, waste recycling and dumping. It is well known that for ecology of the air, geographical and political boundaries don't exist.